All right, evening everyone. Uh, this is uh, Steve coming back and doing a quick video for you tonight. Uh, we are going to be continuing our um, ritual series with the Success Banjo Cook by Damon Brand. Uh, tonight we're going to be discussing the tenth ritual in the book, uh, which is called Imagination, I believe, and. Uh, this is the uh, this ritual is associated with uh, the Watchtower of the North and the Ninth Anokian Key. Um, before we jump into that, I want to give a very very good uh, thank you to uh, anybody who subscribed to my channel. Uh, if you are a subscriber, I do appreciate you very much. Uh, Thank you for that. Uh, please leave me any comments uh, that I can assist you with, uh, either about the videos that I'm doing, or if you have questions about something, if I can answer that, I will definitely go ahead and try to do that in a timely manner. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, of course, I do encourage you to subscribe. Uh, the small bell icon over here on the below the um, right side, uh, right portion of the screen here. Uh, will alert you to any, any time that I put any new videos out on my channel and of course if you know anybody who uh, would possibly benefit from my uh, videos I do encourage you to go ahead and share them as well okay um, uh, like the video if you like uh, thumbs up if you like the video and thumbs down if you don't uh, by all means give me any type of feedback uh, about the videos and uh, if it's uh, a problem, say with sound or anything like that, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll look into any technical issues. Um, and uh, again, if you like it, great. You know, leave me a good comment, and I appreciate that very much. All right. Um, so the tenth Enochian key here. Uh, I'm sorry. That's a, Sorry, this is the ninth no key, key, my fault. All right, so imagination. Uh, it reads, uh, imagination is an embodiment of desire and can also provide you with a solution or a pathway to your desire. Your imagination um, doesn't just create dreams as distracting entertainment, but offers you ways to achieve those dreams. Although some people claim that they can't imagine um, Functioning in this world without imagination would be impossible. Uh, when you are hungry, you desire food, and so you imagine eating, and then you seek out food. And, um, seek out, you seek and find food. Uh, this uh, this is a minor form of imagination. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Uh, that leads to practical. Uh, to, that leads to a practical solution. Um, when uh, living a life of magic, your imagination becomes uh, more flexible, a more flexible tool uh, in a cauldron of possibility. Uh, the purpose of this ritual is to empower your imagination so that you are able to see uh, the immense possibilities that await you and explore the various solutions and pathways that can, um, that can take you there. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, again, uh, it's been kind of a long day here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into that here really quick. Um, again, uh, I, I, I'm going to show you a quick shot of the sigil here, and then we're going to talk about it and then mention the invocation really quick. Um, let's see, the sigil here for the 10th. I'm sorry. Yeah, for the 10th ritual, but it's the 9th and Okian key. And again, it's kind of blurry right there, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get a um, snapshot of it with my with my uh, phone and then get it into the um, video there. So hopefully it'll have more clarity for you guys, all right? Uh, and then, of course, uh, along the top of the sigil, we do have the uh, name of God, who is Padoke, and we've encountered that name already uh, before in one of the earlier rituals. 
And then uh, within the sigil, we do have other divine names that help to empower the ritual as well as, as, well as the angels uh, that are involved in the ritual. And uh, those divine names are Odo Ag. And believe me, I had a problem pronouncing that one myself. Okay. Uh, Sioda and A Ana A. Okay. And the angels that will be assisting in this ritual on the right side of the sigil we have Apst, which is an angel of healing. Uh, we have Ragan, who is the angel of trans who is an angel of transformation, and then we have A A A, who is an angel of conjoining. And don't confuse A Ana with uh, Ana, uh, who is, uh, which is a divine name of God. Okay, uh, they're they're two separate entities. Um, okay, and again, this is associated with the Watchtower of the North and the Ninth Enochian Key. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and have the sigil in front of you uh, while you're performing this ritual, and um, connect with the sigil, look at it, take it in. Uh, absorb all the lines, shapes, and then connect with that gateway to angelic power that helps to empower the, the ritual. Uh, once you've made that connection, you go ahead and make your invocation. In this case, uh, the invocation is Padoke, 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 by the power of Odo Ag, Sioda, and Aana'a. I call them the mighty angels, Apst, Ragan. And Aana, okay, and then you close out the ritual with Apst, 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 Ragan, 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 Aana, Aana, Aana. Okay, uh, at that point, um, you then do your visualization at that point before you offer up the uh, power to all of humanity. And your visualization for this is to know that a strong imagination is an essential tool that refines your dreams and guides you towards them. Think about how much easier it would be to achieve success if you were blessed with the power of inspired imagination. Go ahead and connect to that and think about it for a moment. Um, you know, feel that feel what it would, you know, to me, uh, I, I, I think about what it would feel like to have that creativity and that imagination to, um, you know, bring about any, any solution or any type of success to whether it's a problem or a, a situation or any type of idea, you know, that might be, uh, you know, involved with my business or, you know, or even, you know, my employer or something like that, okay? Um, so go ahead and connect with that, you know, visualize it for a moment, feel it, offer this power up to all of humanity, uh, and then again, you want to thank all the uh, angels um, for assisting and thank all the spirits, and then close out the ritual at that point, okay? Uh, right now, uh, and then that, of course, that, that finishes out that ritual. Um, right now, a lot of these rituals are just very, very straightforward, and um, there's not a lot to them at this point. Uh, I know I've mentioned in the past, don't go ahead and um, don't go ahead and discount the simplicity of the ritual. Okay, um, there is a lot of gnosis that you can attract. Um, and benefit from, you know, from doing these. And, uh, you know, as I said in my last video, um, you know, as I do a lot of these rituals myself, uh, you know, for my personal needs as well as the uh, needs of the channel here, and then um, the um, you know, needs for experimentation and everything like that. Um, a lot of these rituals are you know, are very, very, um, it you know, can be used in other areas. I know when I started doing these rituals a lot, 
you know, I did say, hey, you know, if you're not a business owner or you're not looking to do a business or something like that, you know, these rituals might not be for you. Um, but, you know, as, again, as I go ahead and I go through a lot of these rituals uh, myself, you know, I'm finding that a lot of these can, can really be applied to, um, you know, for people who are in areas of, you know, management, uh, managerial duties, uh, supervisors, uh, department heads, a lot of these um, uh, rituals can simply just, you know, be applied, you know, to those areas. So don't go ahead and discount this book um, just because it says, you know, it's based on success magic and meant for someone uh, who is, you know, supposed to be in business. Um, you know, if you're helping to run a business, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing any of these rituals yourself. Um, it, it would definitely you know, great, uh, greatly benefit you uh, as well as the employer. Um, but then, of course, it also would you know help put you in a, in a better light um, for your employer to recognize uh, your contributions to you know to the company. So uh, with that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, call this video uh, short at this point. Um, I do appreciate you stopping by and viewing the video. And again, uh, please share it. And uh, with that, folks, I bid you very, very fond farewell. Peace, good evening, and infernal blessings. Bye.